Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Art Man's Life. My name is Ali. Thanks so much for watching. So, very impromptu uh, video, but I thought I had to record something as today we've got the announcement of the X Mansion set from Lego. And being a huge Marvel fan and a huge X Men fan, I had to. I had to share my thoughts with you on what I think of the set. Um, first of all, uh, on first glance, it does give the impression that this is the X Mansion. Now, if you're not familiar with X Men or X Mansion, if you look at it from just a modular building point of view, it does look like it is like the the last modular building, which is the Natural History Museum. Uh, but let's put that to the side for the moment because and let's take it on its own accord. So 18 plus set. So it's clearly it's uh, charging for the premium price. Just over 3000 pieces. Uh, set number 76294. And for a price in the UK for 289.99, 290 pounds. Interesting. Coming out on the 4th of November. Uh, I thought... And maybe it's wrong of me, but I did read somewhere that there would be a Pacific gift for purchase with this set. Um, I think it was supposed to be uh, something with um, Professor X, but we could be wrong. But I have to say, just by looking at this as it is, look at the minifigures we've got. The one that really gets to me that I'm glad that we've got is Gambit and bishop woohoo and oh wow hang on is that jean yeah that's jean gray i thought for a minute because i thought it was a blue blue face i thought that's gonna be mystique which was be very interesting but anyway let's have a look uh <laughs> oh this looks great hey eh? on the website itself you know i have to say on the look of it it may seem not as impressive just by uh, the face of it i mean it look quite simplistic in terms of the build there's no fancy textures here it's just a building but uh, at the end of the day that's what the x mansion was look like it's quite similar to its uh, roots uh, from the comic book and probably from the show because i believe this is probably coming from the show great videos they've got here i like this i really like this um, so we've got Wolverine, we've got Professor X, Storm, Cyclops. Ooh, I really like the printing on the cape here. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so we've got a build for the uh, Professor X's <laughs> hover wheelchair. Ah, oh, man, there's no arm printing on Wolverine. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Really a bit of a shame. Is that the same? It's probably the same one that we got in the, um, the jet. Uh, the Blackbird, and same probably with Cyclops. I need to check. Mm, I'm not sure. And then Rogue, probably exactly the same as that we've got in the uh, in the in the Black Blackbird one. And Iceman. Is it? I think. And maybe I'm very wrong, but I reckon Iceman was probably part of the original uh, set of minifigures they wanted to do with the Daily Bugle. Because Iceman, Firebird, um, uh, not Firebird, Firestar, is that the lady? Um, and Spider-Man. I should know this. I watched this as a kid all the time. They were the original Spider-Man and Friends uh, TV show. So maybe they just put them into this one. But uh, I could be wrong. But Gambit looks really cool. Wow, Gambit does look really cool. And Bishop looks really cool as well. These are my two favorites already. Original Magneto. Great. So it's not, it's not taking it from the new x-men show although he did go back to this in his um in the latter half of the show but what's interesting here is look at all of this modularity so every cube it's like a cube and it's all connected all modular so you can probably chop and change um these but this gives so much more flexibility then if you want to make it bigger in terms of height if you want to add in your own uh, floors in here maybe increase the danger room that i think there's probably on this side because of these things popping out here ah but this is great huh this is this is really cool 
having this all modularized that looks good and the dome comes off as well the sentinel the sentinel looks all right so it's probably just like the normal mech builds that we get right by the looks of it mm, i need to see if i can see a better picture of it but oh there we go yeah it's going to use the same pieces but the print I, is that a print oh no yeah that is a print that does look like a print excellent oh that looks great i think that looks really cool old school sentinel in there this looks fun and then we've got <laughs> look at that wow wolverine sleeping in bed with a picture of gene gray next to him or is his crush scott you never know that would have been a nice alternative history oh and he got a great the classic x-men oh wow the classic um x-men comic cover there that's a nice little easter egg they got classrooms a library cerebro the danger room what else the front door this elevator looks suspiciously the same as we had in the daily bugle huh? uh, and i think the avengers tower i haven't got that set yet do i get that set or do i get a playstation 5 mm, not quite sure but uh okay let's see if we got any better pictures here you can see the connector here right on the side to make it modular so they're trying to create their own mod marble modular street with the daily bugle the sanctum uh avengers tower and this although it would look really weird if you had them in one line but i can see what they were going for yes yeah, so you see i'm hearing the, the the facade is very simplistic i mean it's it's using the masonry bricks as to have some texture in there um but you know uh, the original mansion doesn't have that much fancy texture at the front i mean it is it is a, a mansion of that size it's more it's more to do what's inside um and i think that's what's more important here There's, this is still the front right it, oh wow so you've got all these things that can come out and play around with it and you've got all these little clear stud pieces as well so that's going to be great for posing figures Sausage pieces for the texture. Oh, I wonder if that's a print that X, the X mansion. The back looks cool. The same, the same, aha, uh -huh, the same uh, dumpster that's been in all their sets so far. The same box, the same sticker for the um, power thing. Cool little basketball, basketball hoop there. Oh, wow, look at this poster. So that's definitely... Days of Future Past. Yep, no more mutants. That's a nice graffiti. That's nice stickers. I don't know. Is that Nightcrawler there? Concert. That's got to be Dazzler. That has to be the Dazzler. Whoa, look at Gambit's um, arm. Um, uh, effect for the um, for the cards. Hey, I'm going to be dealing. That's cool. And you've got, looks like you're going to have one, two, three of those cool curvy pieces in there this bike oh, the standard bike that looks no different to any other bike that we've had whoa look at cyclops is um oh that's a good idea that's pretty cool i like that to have is a cyclops optic blast coming out from there i like that scene you know what this oozes let's have a closer look at the danger room before i say what i'm trying to say this just oozes fun This oozes absolute just fun. Just fun to play with this set. Just to play with this, create the scenes, create havoc with the Sentinel, just like you would have in the shows. Well, let me just go back to this. Uh, oh, look, look at that VHS. That's, that's cool. That's a nice little um, call back to the 90s. That's Beast, uh, Rogue, excellent, I really like that. This is also part of Danger Room, it's got to be, right, with all these little things in here. It's quite impressive, so it looks like it's two base plates wide, maybe. 
no idea. Uh, I didn't even know. I'm too excited to see what's, what the play features are. But yeah, it does look like it's two base plates. No, yeah, it is. No, hang on, no. It looks like it is one. It looks like it's three. Yeah, yeah. So it's three 16 by 32 base plates they put this on. So it's not two full base plates. It's, uh, it's a base plate and a half in, in essence. But that's actually... That's not... That's, that's pretty ingenious, actually, because... Let's go back to the split. You know, what this does, you can... I mean, look, if you're not an X-Men fan, but you're a city builder, this gives you a lot of scope to be able to build your own, modify your own um, kind of tower, mansion set, whatever you want to do for, for the city. Um, with the fact that everything's on these um, 16 by 32 base plates. 16 by 32 base plates, man. They're, they're awesome. Awesome. You know something? I am very... I'm so glad Beast was not they in this lineup because we got Beast in the in the uh, Marvel minifigure pack as well, so I'm happy. I'm glad Storm is different, but I mean to have these three: Iceman, Gambit, and Bishop. Awesome. You know what this set oozes is fun, um, and this may put off city builders. Um, you know, who are into modular building from the icons theme, um, who probably wanted to have a nice little building for their city, which I think you can still do that. Really, I think you can. Um, I mean, this, if you think about it, this looks like a great school or a university to convert into, huh? Um, <laughs> well, that's what it is, right? Is the is the gift, is a school for the gifted at the end of the day. But with the play features they've got here, with all these things you can shift around, the modularity of it, um, with the emphasis that everything is really nice and polished inside. When we had a look at the the interiors, everything's all polished. That 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 tells me that this this set for me was designed inside out, not outside in. And I really like that approach because. It's a set to play with. This is this is I can see us playing with this a lot. And if I had to compare this to the obvious comparison, which is going to be the Natural History Museum, because it's got it's got it's it's got the same kind of framework, right? I would pick this. I haven't bought the Natural History Museum yet because I was waiting for this. Um. And this for me, this may actually be even a day one buy. Can I, uh, am I going to be that brave? I really like it. I really like it. Uh, let's go back to the price. <laughs> yeah, we've got to pay for this stuff, right? <laughs> 290, 3000 pieces. I think that's fine with the Lego, Lego tax, marble tax. The price things are now 290. It's not a bad deal at all. Not a bad deal at all. I think um, slightly bit more expensive than I would say, but with all the stuff that's inside, the play features, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. So I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. And I'm, I'm glad this wasn't above 300 pounds, really. Um, because the, the the Avengers Tower for me is a little bit out of my reach. And I'm gutted because I love that building. But I, I just cannot justify spending that much money on, on, on Lego <laughs> for one set. For one set. But for this great so i need to see if this is going to be you see it says exclusive so it looks like it is going to be only with, with marvel i don't think it's going to be out to any retailers i need to check because if that is the case then retailers may discount it right but it won't be for a long time but i'm too excited because i really want this now i'm not sure if i can wait 
And it also depends if there's a cool gift for purchase for this set. So let me know if what your thoughts are of it so far, if you're excited for it like I am. At the moment, it's a big thumbs up for me. I really like it. Um, I really like the thing that they're trying to do now with this Marvel 18 plus theme with these um, Marvel Street, shall we say. This is the fourth one. It'll be interesting to see what the fifth one's going to be. It's got to be the Fantastic Four building. I bet you. I bet you it's going to be the Baxter building. Um, because with the Fantastic Four movie coming out, it makes absolute sense. That's going to be the next one. Um, but please, man, don't make this another 400 pound set. Anyway, that's the future. Let's think about now. This is this is coming. Potentially will be a day one buy for me in November. It all depends what the next module is going to be as well. Oh, my wallet is crying already. Till next time. Peace and love.